Hello everyone. Today I'm going to work on how to make the enemy characters search on the last scene location and then return to their normal duties. So now here the enemy has registered the point over here as the last day scene location and he actually checks over there and if not in a while he returns to his normal uh, the original location so that's what we are going to work on today let me show the demonstration again yeah let me get detected and hide over here see now enemy is checking over there and since he can't find me he should return back put back his sword and return yeah Oh, someone else has seen me. Okay, that's unexpected. Uh, right, yeah, so that's what we are going to work on today. And before we get started, I'd like to remind you, you can download the project files of this project and all of the thousands of projects that I have done in the channel from the Patreon page. Once you become a member, you can download anything without a limit. And this is a part of this action RPG with gameplay ability system series I'm doing. So feel free to check it out all other episodes as well i'll leave the link to the full playlist in the description and let's get back to today's tutorial all right so let's get started with our ai and behavior tree now here we will mainly have to work in this part so right now all i have is if there is a noise, loca noise location my character just goes there if there is no noise location then uh, my character just unequip the sword and go back to the initial location so what i want to have is make the character search or go to the last scene location and if there is no one then return to the original location so here let's add a new key a vector let's call it last scene location All right now in the behavior tree let's have a new sequence and add a condition decorator uh, black board condition and check if the last scene location is set now please note that currently i am only working with one player or enemy character for the enemies and i'm not considering the possibility of having multiple players or enemies yet so because we need to make it work for the simplest uh, situation then after that let's improve the code to make it work with multiple enemies uh, in the players in the in ai characters perspective multiple enemies for the ais or multiple players that ais will be considered as enemies okay now here i'll make the character move to the last scene location and then wait maybe five seconds and clear oh we don't have a blueprint task to clear this value so let's create a new task pt task blueprint base i'll call it clear black board key all right now let's override this receive execute ai and add a new variable key it should be from the type of black board key selector make it public 
and then all we need to do is clear blackboard value and finish execute okay now here I can now use it wait one more thing I'll make the node name clear here blackboard key and the key is last seen location and we need to do the same thing for the noise location as well wait clear otherwise this node will be executed repeatedly if my character goes to this noise location search okay and this is actually not necessary because if none of these conditions are true this will automatically activate so i'll just delete it right okay now how do we kind of get this last thing location for that yeah we have a perception site and here we have on target perception info updated and here this branch the first branch executes when we lose perception of the targets so as i said i'm considering only one target so what we can do is get the blackboard and set value as vector in a is this last scene location and the value is this stimulus location all right then well actually now it should be good enough to test so how do we test yeah, let's make a sound oh, he saw me now let's run away They still saw me. We need to run a long way to hide from him. No, this is not a good testing environment. Okay, so here we can test. Um, Here you can see we get detected now run off and hide from the character now he don't see me anymore he might try to search me again no he's not seen me so he should put back sword and return let's see yeah so now as you can see he's not turning to the direction he's moving that's because here we have called this where this lock on target function and also if he actually engage in a fight he would be going into the he would activate the lock on ability as well so this is actually implemented through the bbi character here i'll add a function lock of an army it doesn't need a an input so all i have to do is implement it in the base character here lock of enemy and set the lock target to black and also 
we need to deactivate we need to call loco ability as well so i'll do that here just in case i have activated the loco ability so activate ability by the way we have already worked on these nodes this, uh, so all i have to do is just define the tag here if you don't remember you can watch the previous episodes that we worked on these mm, custom nodes and also call look of oh we need to have a blueprint task for lock of as well lock of anyway the interface function and finish it is a success simple and call that also here okay I think that should do it let's test okay he's coming here let's stay hidden right yeah he's going back to his original location and he's not he's correctly rotating towards the movement of direction all right so that's all i want to do in this episode so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and next time maybe we should work on some more advanced behaviors and also we should look into how this behavior works when they are in a multiplayer environment as well so yeah feel free to let me know what you guys think in the comments and see you in the next episode goodbye